But uh, <clears throat> I, after my talking to the Chamber of Commerce and giving them a few ideas of this, this kind, <clears throat> stimulating and, uh, their interest in saying that uh, one of the principal possibilities in uh, sort of getting Niagara to uh, step up was to rely upon its historical background and play that very strongly. So as a result, there had been a great deal of conservation practiced about that time, largely by Americans, not all by Americans, but uh, you know, people like Oppenheimer <coughs> and so forth who uh, did some very nice work in, in Niagara. And about that time, in the early 60s, late 50s, there was a, a Danish ship's carpenter called Carl Banke. Carl did a lot of work. He worked on Whale End, among other places, and for the Oppenheimers and other houses, <clears throat> and uh, did a very nice job. He, he, was, uh, he loved doing arches and round things. He hated straight work because he was a ship's carpenter, as I say, he was used to making forms, you know. And, uh, and Carl was a strange man, was very statuesque of so many things. Uh, and uh, he wasn't very communicative. Uh, if you could get a grunt out of him, you were lucky, and very seldom a smile. But he was dead set on doing a good job. And I had some clients occasionally who tried to jockey him along and rush him and so forth, and they wouldn't have it. And I had to intervene to try to stop them interfering because they would have, you know, Carl would have walked off, them, walked off the job. But anyway, he's one of the people uh, who was so important in those early days. He did a lot of lovely work. Um, and uh, anyway, so... I started, as I say, I was, my office was originally started in Ottawa and uh, I did a study for the National Capital Commission. So I had quite a bit of work in that respect. But then uh, with my association, the Chamber of Commerce here, I started getting work in Niagara Lake. The township took me over, it was then separate of course, and uh, <clears throat> I worked on a uh, sort of land uh, designation for planning and did that work. I had a small staff which I had taken over from a account the village that was uh, German, Swiss among other people. There was a Canadian, uh, two Canadians actually working with me here and uh, we uh, were <coughs> appointed to do the pilot study, the Niagara pilot study for the National Inventory of Buildings in uh, 19, the early 1960s and I used my team and we, and between us, drew a whole series of sheets, you know, ledger size sheets um, of details and shapes and things, sort of towards, it was really an illustrated glossary of historical architectural terms, I think probably the first one in Canada. And this was uh, drawn on these sheets from our experience with the pilot study. We selected buildings in Niagara and nearby in the town, township of Niagara. 